Hi, I'm Monica Weitzel. Today on Community Hotline at Home, we'll be discussing a bond measure to support the Multnomah County Library System. The Multnomah County Library is one of our community's treasures, a safe, welcoming place that opens the doors to reading, learning, and opportunity for everybody. Our libraries are some of the nation's busiest and smallest. All 19 Multnomah County Library buildings could fit inside the downtown Seattle Main Library branch with room to spare. The Multnomah County Library Bond will update, rebuild, and construct libraries throughout the county. With us today is Rachel Bowen, Campaign Coordinator for Yes for Libraries, and Sodi Puth Fern, Elementary Reading Specialist for the David Douglas School District. Rachel, can you tell us a little bit about the key components of the bond? Yeah, definitely. So the first piece of the bond is it would expand and modernize the libraries in the neighborhoods that need it most, including, so this would be the Albina branch, the Belmont branch, the Holgate branch, North Portland, Midland, Northwest, and St. John's. All of those would get square footage expansions because as we know, they're tiny. They um, yeah, they're tiny. Um, the second major piece of the bond would be building a flagship library in Gresham. So this is a really exciting piece of the bond. And this is, you know, designed to address the reality that while 40% of the county population lives east of 205, there's only 20% of the library space in East Multnomah County and East Portland. Um, so that's the second big piece of the bond. The third is that it would provide high speed no cost broadband internet access at all 19 branches. And so this would mean more devices and more space to use those devices. And we know that having reliable internet access is, you know, a necessity. It's not a convenience anymore. Um, and this would address some of the realities that a large portion of the population relies on the library for um, for internet. Um, and, you know, the next big sort of piece is it would improve access for people with disabilities in the bond is included in this package. Um, and, you know, providing critical help with folks looking for a job. And then the last major piece of the bond is updating materials and handling distribution. So currently the Multnomah County Library has an antiquated system. So every time you get a book on hold, it touches eight people. Eight people have to handle that book before you get it. Um, so it's a very old system and a bit, a, one piece of this bond would be updating that to a more automated system. So replacing the current antiquated system will save money um, and time in delivering materials to customers. Um, so those are the sort of major pieces of the bond. That's a, that's a big uh, undertaking. That's a lot that's, a lot that's gonna happen for, for the money that will be dedicated to it. Let me just touch on a couple of those. The, the um, buildings that are going to be updated or renovated, um, some of those buildings are very old buildings. I can't even picture them being updated or renovated. Are any of them going to be torn down and replaced, do you know, or? No, so they are going to be, they're doing, they're trying to do a really good job of just expanding on the square footage that they have and doing upgrades in that way. Um, the flagship library will be entirely built from scratch. So the flagship library is going to, again, be a cornerstone of the bond and that flagship library will be roughly a hundred thousand square feet so that's the size of roughly the downtown central branch if you can if you want to picture it yeah, so that's amazing that'll be that'll be a great addition to east county that's totally cool. and to yeah. the to, you know yeah to the community and you know imagine what can happen in you know a hundred thousand square feet of new you know space for children to learn to read and new computer labs and community meeting spaces and all the things that we know we love the library okay. for but bringing that um to east county that's great um sony i want to i want to ask you about something you know that she mentioned rachel mentioned um that there would be more uh inter better internet access and faster broadband and, and that uh, there will be more places and uh, for people to use their computers. I know that, uh, that that's an issue, especially with COVID-19 and people having, the kids having to learn at home for much of the time. How, what kinds of things do you think the library is going to bring to your students and, and the people that you work with? Well, I mean, more space means more access, right? And um, more time with books and things that kids and families need. I know for my, my family, we use the library all the time. Um, we use it to check out books and we use it to find things in Spanish. My, my daughter is in a Spanish immersion program um, at Lenton Elementary. And um, 
she checks out books in Spanish um, because we don't have that in our home. We think that um, using or seeing people in the community at our library is a great thing too. Um, we a lot of times meet friends and um, for my students though, I think having access to internet will alleviate some barriers for them um, and to see it um, and use it in a place where somebody can help them. Um, because many of the people that, that work at the library speak languages that are familiar to my family. Um, and that breaks down a lot of barriers for, for lots of us. Mm -hmm. And I understand, and maybe this is more for you, Rachel, but I understand that yeah. some people have actually been going and parking outside the library just yeah. to get the Wi-Fi that's there, just to use the Wi-Fi, which tells you a lot of people need it, right? Totally. And, and you know, one thing I think that's really important to note there is that the Multnomah County Library is the number one internet, free internet provider in the whole state. Wow. And so that really, really speaks volumes to the library being, you know, a digital lifeline for folks. And, mm -hmm. you know, we know that 40% of our lowest income households do not have internet at home. And so they're relying on the Multnomah County Library for that internet access. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sodia, I want to ask you, you, you are, um, you're with the David Douglas School District. So you're in mm -hmm. East County. What will it mean for East County, uh, for the East County community to have a flagship library right there in, in Gresham? I, huge. It's huge. I mean, I think about the opportunities that, um, that it would provide for our families um, and our community. I know that when families um, enter the public library, they often see people who look like them and materials in languages that they can read. And that breaks down barriers, huge barriers for families and kids and, um, and a sense of belonging in this community. I mean, if we don't belong, if we don't feel like we belong, um, it's hard to be a part of it uh, and to be a part of the community. So for my students, I know that um, just seeing books that they can share with their families, build literacy skills, in their first language. And that I know is a crucial step for kids to learn to read in English, which is what we're teaching them at school. I'm excited about all the possibilities of what can happen with if, you know, if this bond passes. And that's still an if because people have to get out and vote, right? That's, right. that's one of the things that we need to do. So um, how can people help support this bond besides just talking about it you know, amongst ourselves? What can we do? Yeah, absolutely. So there's, I'm glad you asked that question because it's definitely, you know, in a unique moment to be working in campaigns and doing everything remotely as here we are today doing a remote mm -hmm. interview. Um, and just like that, you know, landscape has changed. We've also adapted our um, campaign and our campaign and the ability for folks to volunteer and to get involved. And we absolutely are looking for folks um, who are passionate about the library and about passing this bond. Um, and there's, you know, a number of ways you can help support the bond. You can sign up to become a volunteer um, and we will provide you with the tools and the resources that you need to take action. Um, and this could just be, you know, a few hours between now and election day and it can make a huge difference. Um, and we will have multiple shifts per week, um, some during the week and some on the weekend for anybody to get involved, phone bank, text bank, um, or just texting a couple of your friends. That's a really easy way um, that folks can get involved. Um, you can also show your love for the library by signing up for a lawn sign. So we just got our lawn signs yesterday. I'm so excited. We'll have different locations throughout the county where folks can pick them up, contact lists. Um, and that's a great way to show your neighbors and remind folks that the library is on the ballot. Um, and then you can, the last piece is you can follow us and like our social media. Um, we're on Facebook and on Instagram um, and check out our website, which is just yes for our libraries.org. And all of that information, how to volunteer, how to get a lawn sign is all on the website as well. Just one, one last question for either one of you. Why do you think this library system is, is so important as a, as a community resource as we um, kind of work to recover from COVID-19? Any, any thoughts on that? 
Yeah, I, I have a few for sure. And I'd love to also hear what Sodi um, is thinking. You know, I think as we work to kind of reemerge from the impacts of COVID-19, libraries are more essential than ever. Um, in uncertain times, libraries have proven to be really helpful for helping the community put the pieces back together. And, you know, one of the most significant ways that it does that is for folks looking for a job, actually, and looking to or looking to change their focus or add new skills. So there's all kinds of ways that, you know, the libraries help and engage folks looking for work. And we know that can be hard, especially right now, um, but they're there to assist with access to computers, with help getting, you know, updating your resume, with printing, um, with classes and with training and, you know, library staff um, can help people even apply for unemployment, for example. Um, and, you know, this bond measure would make a real difference in the library's ability to help people look for jobs. And then the second thing is, is our schools, you know, no matter what the school year looks like, and I think Sodi can attest to this, is that libraries are going to still be critical in helping students get back on track as we, you know, get through this school year and, and, and ones in the future, <laughs> and it means, you know, help with, um, you know, for reading programs like story time and helping folks make sure um, that they have resources in their own language. Um, and distance learning and you know the library currently works with every school district basically um, and serving every public school in the county and that will continue to be a thing as we continue to recover um, and making sure again students and families have the resources they need as this kind of landscape continues to change. Okay so did you have anything to add about that about the schools and and what this will mean to your school community? I think, you know, just providing opportunity, like Rachel was saying about like an access and thinking about libraries are more than just books these days, right? I mean, you can check out movies, you can check out um, um, audio books, I mean, and, and the numerous amount of internet access that you can have. But I also think, you know, libraries are also providing lunches for kids yeah, sure. and it's a community hub. Um, if, by chance, we get this beautiful flagship of a, of, of a building, I can see other resources being there and housed there so that people can go to a one place to get what they need. Like, I work at a community school, and we have a STEM program person who helps us link families to housing and electrical and any kind of help that they might need. And I think that this is an opportunity for the library to also partner up with those people too and um, create opportunities that may not be available to families because it's so hard to find. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I, I know we at Metro East have partnered with a library in, in East Multnomah County and it's been a, a very wonderful partnership. So, you know, I, I think um, this is a really important bond and I, and if nothing else, people need to get out there and vote. So I, I hope they will really pay attention to this. Um, are there any last takeaways, anything else you want to leave with us before I let you go today? Either one of you. Yeah, I would just say that, you know, there's a reason why we are, you know, the most loved, one of the most loved and widely used library systems in the whole nation. And it's because Libraries are an essential part of our lives here in Multnomah County and our libraries support our teachers and our parents, our senior citizens, our small business owners, all of our community members. Um, and it's, it's really, you know, time where we need to support them and that if we're going to, you know, make sure that the next generation has a more comprehensive and safe, safe and accessible library, we have to start now with this bond. Yeah. Sodi, anything you want to add? I just want to say this is it's libraries have always been an important part of my life and we are fortunate to live in Multnomah County um, and have access to it but you know many families still don't know <laughs> about the library mm -hmm. and because of how difficult it is to get to a building um, but I want to say that the outreach for Multnomah County is tremendous. We have in our in our schools books to you, and I and I know that there are other outreach things that teachers or teachers and librarians are partnering up with each other to do. Um, and it's just it's amazing work, and I'd hate for it to not expand because we need it. 
and um, we love it. <laughs> there's, there's a big need for, um, for books and for learning and for the socialization you get from the library and everything else the library brings. So um, thank you both for coming on the show tonight and, and sharing about the Multnomah County Library Bond that will be on the ballots this November. Thanks very much. Thank you for having me. You're Thank welcome. You for You're welcome. And for all of those of you watching, um, please do uh, educate yourself, go to the website, um, find out what you need to know, and be sure to vote this November. From all of us at Metro East, be safe, be healthy. Mm -hmm.